YouTube, let's get, get, get it. Back with another video YouTube. It's your boy Big Gal. And today, in front of us, we have the Traxxas Fiesta ST four-wheel drive rally. This is a brush one-tenth scale RTR car, um, rally car from Traxxas. Uh, it comes with the brushed motor and ESC, the VXF, the, the XL5, and it comes with the TQI, I mean the TQ remote. Um, this is my second rally. Uh, I had one a little while back and I got rid of it. And once I got rid of it, I was like, why did I do that? <laughs> uh, so I had to get me another one. This one this one comes with the Titan 12 turn motor as well. Um, like I said, the XL5 ESC. So I've already had this truck, so I kind of knew what to do already to make it be able to run brushless. So mine is brushless now already. I will show you guys. Um, I haven't finished putting everything in it, but I'll show you anyway what I've done so far. But the whole car is a totally different car. So without no further ado, y'all know how I feel. Who cares about a box? Let's get into it. So, you know, it comes with your standard stuff uh, from, um, for your shocks, the, the shock spacers, a uh, couple of foam pieces, a couple of extra body clips and things to that nature. It, like I said, it comes with the TQ remote. I'm not even going to pull that out because it's going to go in the trash when I throw that box away <laughs> because yeah, I have no need for a TQ remote. Uh, the TQI is not that bad, but the TQ, I have no need for it. So here goes the books, comes with some stickers, a few, a few goodies in the bag. Let's get right into the car. Paya. Ooh wee. As y'all can see, she has been tweaked all the way around, baby. I call this one, this will be my drag, light drag racer slash neighborhood race, um, course racing. I will be doing a lot of that with this. Um, right now I have the foam tires on here because this um, I was setting it up for drag I was trying to get it ready for today's drag But I wasn't able to finish it, but here it is. This is Casper That's what I call this one Casper and It looks good in solid white a lot of people don't really go with solid white like that um, Because it looks more like a work truck or a work car, you know, a cheap little car, but it looks really good on this rally. Um, it was painted by Rattle Can on Lexan, you already know. So let's get up under this hood. I'm gonna show you what I got in here and we're gonna get out of here, man. I wasn't, I was not gonna make this a long unboxing, but at the end of the video, y'all stick around. I got a surprise for y'all at the end of the video uh, of Roving uh, one fifth scale. My brother Rattle Can on Lexan got one, so. Stick around to the end of the video, and I, I, I'm going to add that on as a bonus. So, let's get it. There it is. Uh, we did upgrade the diff, um, put metal gears and everything into the diff. Uh, big shouts out to my brother Logan down at the Hobby Shop, Stockbridge, Georgia. He did that for me. Um, he also put the metal dry shafts, dry shaft down the middle. As you know, this comes with the plastic, and I went with a smaller spur. I'm not really ready to give y'all my gearing just yet. I got to see how it's going to turn out. Uh, he told me that it should run good, but I feel like it may overheat. But uh, it's really tall gearing. But I have the Kyosho 19. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, the Kyosho uh, 2000 kV motor out of my um, Inferno GT2 in here. And I will be pairing that with the Spectrum Firma 100, 160 amp ESC. I would just be running this car on 4S. It won't hit 6S. I don't think the diffs and gears and everything will handle 6S. I don't um, in, in this stock configuration, but I will be changing it. And I'm also going to change this servo. It tracks the servo and put a better servo in here. But that's the ESC I'll be running. I, I'm also going to get rid of the preloaded shocks um, and put me some um, 
some threaded body aluminum shocks on here as well. So that will be something that I will be doing in the near future. But there it is. So I was gonna make this nice and sweet, nice and quick. Um, I probably, oh, I'm also going to put this on my um, my radio link uh, remote so I can have, use the gyro. Uh, those those receivers, the ones that I have, have the gy has the gyro in it. So I will be putting a gyro in this thing so it can stay straight and it can have that excellent uh, reception that the radio link remotes offer. So. There she goes. Uh, I do have to do some slight more modifications because of these foams. They're wide and the body rubs, uh, rubs the foams in the back. So I am going to do a little bit more adjustments. I'm going to let the body mount up a little bit and trim off just a little bit of the body. So um, they, won't, they, won't, they won't rub the tires and wheels when I turn. So, but there it is. Today, we out with the roving. What is it F5. called? F5 brushless conversion. My boy Rattle Can on Lexa and then grab one of them guys. We're gonna we out here in the parking lot. We're gonna get out here and see what she can do. Let's get it. He's a monster. <laughs> oh. Ooh, she got some power. Yes, sir. He running a, uh, what you running, a hobby wing in it? You running a hobby wing in it, right? Yeah. Hobby wing, what, 1100? 1100 with a Max 5 ESC. That thing is cutting up. Get another pass with it. That 1100, I saw that 1100. That thing is a monster in law. <laughs> Roving? Roving? Appreciate y'all sticking around watching the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, dislike, whatever you like. You do. And I'm in it.